Hello everyone, I'm Cryptic Fox, and welcome back to Icarus. We haven't uh, played this in a hot minute, but uh, we got a, an open world map in progress here in Icarus. We did build ourselves a base, we tamed a couple of animals, completed a couple of missions, and we're in the process of working on uh, building up the infrasonic relay device. So we can get some more cool missions and stuff. Hopefully we'll get that all sorted today and make uh, some more progress and pick up a new mission and do a little more exploring as well. We still haven't seen like the volcanic regions that they added with this new uh, the new Frontiers update. Or the swamp area, so it'd be kind of cool to go and check out one of those maybe today, too. Uh, welcome everyone who's here in the chat so far, or if you're watching on the channel afterwards, welcome as well. As always, a huge thanks to everyone who's clicked on that join button to become a channel member. Thank you very, very much for the support. A special thanks to our top tier Mistakes Were Made members that were highlighted at the start of the stream. Pick our little guy here and get back to our house. I have a, I have a pet inside the house with me right now. Actually, I actually have two of them. I have this uh, weird dinosaur thing, and this weird, like, mutant horse thing with the face of an orc uh we got that thing too i did build a pet for them like right at the end of the last stream but i didn't really have the time to build a shelter for them so i think we need to do that too so that uh they can get out of the stormy weather or whatever uh because i think that becomes an issue for them if it's uh if there's crappy weather and they don't have a place to go so i don't know we'll see what happens i'm also curious to see if they'll walk off the cliff because the back end of the pen is just a drop off to the lake area and uh, it doesn't exactly have anything that stops them from just going for a stroll out here and just like plunging into the water. So I guess I should probably consider putting a fence out down here too. Uh, I need to make a new torch. Just realized my torch burned out on me. And I don't have any of the materials I need for it, so that's good. I also need to put some stairs in back here so I can stop trying to hop in this back door. But this is our humble abode, if you haven't seen it. Uh, if you didn't watch the other streams where we were playing some Icarus... Uh, on the uh, the new frontiers DLC, this is our fancy house. I use the term fancy kind of kind of loosely. <laughs> it's reasonably big, but it's not uh, it's not really like fully decked out or anything to make it look, you know, fabulous or anything yet. But it's here. We got something. Animals, I'm sure they're uh, used to being in the rain or other elements. I don't know if I have to give them shelter from the storms or not. I don't know. Beats me. Uh, anyway, I need to make a... I gotta get a torch. I gotta figure out where I got some supplies. I think uh, it's been a little bit since we played, so like remembering where I have everything stored is gonna be one of those memory game things I'm gonna have to figure out. Uh, I have... I have wooden steps and stuff, but I, what I don't have are stone ones, I don't think. All these need to go away. Uh, I can probably make a set of stairs, though. We'll craft those. Weirdly, the uh, the wooden fence thing, we, uh, we don't have to worry about repairing those. Oh, I have five of those left, too, actually. Okay, I've got wood, I've got fiber, I've got sulfur. I should be able to make the... Nope, I need sticks. I get sticks. It doesn't pay to be too long away from this game, because I can never remember what I'm doing. Is Assassin's Creed done? Uh, I need to go back and look and see how we're performing on those video-wise, but I did uh, lay out the schedule for this at the start of the week where I said I would be playing this today. Uh, so it shouldn't really be a shocker that we're not playing Assassin's Creed tonight since I said specifically early on we weren't going to, but... Um, I don't know. It, uh, it hasn't been performing super well. I'm really having fun with the game, but it doesn't really seem to be doing very well in general on the, on the channel. So like when I look at the, the stream views and stuff relative to the other games that I've been playing, or that I would normally play. Uh, it's doing not great. <laughs> I guess is one way to put it. It's lower even than like Sunken Land. <laughs> so I don't know. We'll see. I might play it again tomorrow, and then uh, and then I'll gauge whether we're going to continue playing it or not based on that. It's one of those things where it just it doesn't pay for me to play games that uh, that aren't doing well. It usually, it just ends up being more detrimental than positive. Uh, okay, we've got all that stashed. Let's go put that fence up. Some of the poor animals don't fall to their death or whatever. I don't want them getting stuck in the water, you know, that would suck. Uh, there we go. Set this for stairs. There. Man, it's really dark over here. I forgot how dark it is against this mountain. I should probably put some lights outside. That would be a thing to do, I think. Uh, alright, fencing. <laughs> the fence does not like to be placed in weird ways, I guess. Where? Oh, this the angle of this thing is just 
Not cool. Just, do these things not snap at all? I wish there was a way to get these to snap. That fence is actually flying. That's good. That's great. That's that's perfect. <laughs> all right. It's janky, but if it keeps the animals in, it's good enough. I mean, what a mess. They don't like connect together. You gotta be like pretty. It worked fine up here. Everything up here came out nice and smooth, but it was pretty level ground, which it didn't have over there. Gameplay might be oversaturated. Yeah, that's usually how that works out. But it's also a question of like, what's the uh, what's the standard audience for the game, and what's the uh, what's the audience I normally would have on my channel, right? So like for games that um, uh, let's see, follow. There we go. If it's a game that I wouldn't like a, a or a game style that I wouldn't normally um, wouldn't normally play on the channel. Or like a style or whatever, then when I play it, it generally will underperform. I think at this point, people are much more frequently looking at my channel for survival games than anything else, but... Uh, hello? Come on, buddy. You can do it. I know it's a small door and you got a fat butt, but you, you, you can manage. Let's go. Bueller? Hello? No. Yeah, if I place foundations, it would work. But I, I, I didn't. Want, I don't. I'm not super interested in the fence. That I want to. Oh my god! I'm like right up the horse's butt. There you go. You made it. Good job, little guy. All right. I don't want you to follow me anymore. There we go. So they have water out here, but I haven't done any feed for them. I'm not really sure what's required for that. Uh, you know, other than food, because <laughs> I know they're gonna need food. I just don't know what. Rita, hey cryptic, hey all in the hospital with seizures. Oh, so glad to hear that. Uh, so glad for some Icarus to distract me. Well, I hope you feel better soon. That it doesn't turn out to be anything too serious. Being in the hospital sucks. Really dark, man. There we go. That's better. If there's one thing that can be said about the New Frontiers map, it's that because the sky is all purple, it's just really dark all the time. Even when it's like sunny out, it feels dark. Grain weeder corn for the animals. Yeah, I gotta get them something. I mean, oh, that one's hungry, but this one's not. I guess this Daisy never gets hungry, but this horse does. Uh, so I'm gonna need to deal with that, I guess. Grain, wheat, or corn? Uh, I don't think I have any of that. What do we got here? <laughs> I've got some spoiled plants. Will they eat those? <laughs> I'm guessing not, right? Um, put more salt in here. I don't think I have any any wheat or corn around. I'm gonna have to go and try and find some. And then I guess I should plant some nearby so that I actually have a source of it. Where's my oxygen thing? Oh, there. It's literally right next to me. Uh, put that in there. There we go. I need to repair some tools, I guess, if I can. Um. Repaired. There we go. This thing I don't think I can repair. No, I can't. Shoot. I'm gonna need to make a new axe, I guess. Did I make one already? The pickaxes and stuff. I thought I'd made a new axe, but I guess I didn't. Here are the cave worm bow while we're here. Okay, I guess quest number one will be finding finding corn for the uh, for the animals. There's a recipe you can make with seeds for animal food. Just can't remember what. I, oh, yeah, maybe, maybe. I have seeds in here, I think. Nope, not there. Where did I put the seeds? I know I put them somewhere. <laughs> I had a whole pile of seeds, and I remember thinking, I don't have anywhere reasonable to store these, so let's put them in here. Wherever here is, I don't remember. Might actually be up in the kitchen, I guess. Nope. 
Oh, there they are. There we go. So we got uh, we got fiber seeds. Let's see, animal feed. Where do you make your animal feed? There it is. Animal feed. Oh, I still need wheat. Even if I have the seeds, you need wheat. So that's that's not cool. I gotta find wheat. Cool wheat. I'm not gonna bother killing the animal just because I don't I don't need the meat or anything. Um I don't recall seeing wheat anywhere on the map. We have to go on a bit of a hunt. Cool wheat. Quilt wheaten. Cool whip. We got like carrots and stuff out here, but that's not gonna do. It's a shame I can't just feed them the grass fiber, because, I mean, it's like a horse. It doesn't need to have grain. You upgrade your front door? I can, yeah. I've got a, uh, I got a few things we could upgrade, like interior stuff. We could use uh, nicer looking wood. We could get a better door. You know, there's a few little tweaks we could make. I don't really know where to look for the wheat. I, I'm just going to kind of run around, I guess, and see if we bump into any. <laughs> they do eat carrots and tomatoes. They do, huh? Okay, well, maybe I'll make do with uh, carrots and tomatoes for now. <laughs> Little flowers almost look like something, but they're not. There's like heirloom tomatoes in you know, all the colors in here. Wait, wait, wait. If I use the uh, this thing here, I get I get more tomatoes and stuff, right? Plus, I get more seeds. Try to listen to the thing crackling at me. Games eat veggies, not wheat. Uh, you can harvest more using a sickle. Yeah, yeah, okay, that's what I'm doing. So the uh, the the animal feed is that just for taming then? I gotta get some gardens going so I can uh, keep a supply of food going for these things. I guess. I mean, foraging works, but it's just more of a pain. They don't need wheat alone, uh, only as part of the feed recipe. Yeah, well that's what I was looking for the wheat for, was for the feed recipe, because I have seeds, I just didn't have any wheat. Good wheat. Stay away from that sucker, it's got the baby right there. Look at the seed treat, gives them a stamina boost. Seed treat, you say? Is that the uh, the feed I was looking at here? The seed animal feed? It seems one, uh, yeah, they give one plus 125 back stamina and they get better stamina regeneration off of it. Yeah, it's the only feed that's showing up in there. Alright, we'll give them uh, carrots and tomatoes for now. Weird thing to feed a horse, but you know, whatever. It's not a real horse, I guess. Press the interact. There we go. Okay. So that should... There we go. That's right. Eat up. Ooh, I got down to 7%. Eat up, buddy. Nice work. Way to shove that food in your face hole. Ditch these other seeds, I guess. Okay, now that we got that thing settled, so it's not gonna get all dead on me. You know, starvation's a beast, you know. Why does this, uh, s why does the sound sound like Jurassic Park sometimes? I mean, there are some, uh, dinosaur-ish kind of critters here, I guess. Tiki also used to be used in certain plants, but they fix it on all plants. The animal feed is a booster to the animals. Yep. 
I tell you, 100% I was still enjoying this game. I haven't looked at another game in a while, all because of you, Cryptic. Well, I'm glad you're enjoying it. I've got a couple hundred, I think I have a couple hundred hours in this game. Hold on, double check my Steam here. Yeah, I have about 200 hours in the game myself. So, not like, uh, not like crazy numbers uh, the way I'm sure some other people have, but I, I do tend to play a variety of stuff. But starting this from all the way, like, before launch, till now, it's been neat to see all the stuff that's changed in it. Okay, I need to make the, um, I need to make the relay, whatever that thing's called. There it is, this thing here. Infrasonic relay upgrade. We need gold wire, copper wire, steel ingots, and aluminum ingots. And that's a lot of gold wire we have to make. Wow. Steel ingots. Um, I think I heard that you can make steel without putting it in the uh, in, in the regular smelter now, right? Yeah, there's the steel ingots in here. A known ore. Oh, that's the frozen ore. I still have to deal with aluminum and stuff, so, um, did I make a... I didn't make a cement mixer yet, did I? I guess we'll have to work on that first. There's our cement mixer. Iron ingots, rope, iron... Nails, stone, refined wood. Or wood. This is our craft area. There we go. Got plenty in here. Uh, I don't have any nails left, but I'm sure we can fix that easily enough. Some wood. I uh, got some rope. I don't remember how much rope we needed for that thing. Oh, I need eight. I've only got six. Yep, yeah, 1,401 hours in the game. I might like it a bit. 1,401 hours. That is a lot. That's like. That's like when you play a game for years, and it's like the only game that you play. Wow. <laughs> the thing from Radio Shack? Which, the, uh, that upgrade thing I have to get? Might be from Radio Shack. What else do I need for that thing? Cement mixer? Oh, I need ingots and stone, too. Uh, stone's easy enough. I think it's a probably have enough. Yeah, there we go. Sweet. Can't imagine I have that much time in a single game. Yeah, I don't think I have any game ever that I have that many hours in. That's uh that's mind boggling to me. Put that away. Oh I got more carrots. Oh, those are barbecue carrots. That's different. I forgot I roasted those when I was out the other day. All right, cement mixer. Kind of running out of room down here. Oh, this thing's huge too. Dang it! All right, I'm gonna need to put some stuff up here. I'm just not gonna have enough room down there. Cement mixer can go here. Not the most ideal placement, but we'll have to do. Which means I gotta get my hands on some silica because it uses silica for the cement, right? If I remember correctly. What? Oh. I didn't realize you could make the actual concrete roof pieces right at the mixer. That's super weird. Oh, I need tree sap, too. That I forgot about. For you, it's seven days? Yeah, I mean, I've got games that I've played a whole bunch of, but I, I, I don't think I have any that I have, like, crazy kind of hours in that you guys have had. That's nuts. Uh, more sticks. Might want to grab a bite to eat? No. Each meat. We don't need food. Foods for suckers. I 
104. Also, to be fair, we're not streamers, so we can play whatever we like, our hearts desire without fear. Yeah. You know, video gaming is, gets, becomes a little weird when, it's, when you start to make a, like content out of it. So when you're focused on like YouTube or streaming on Twitch or whatever, anytime you go to play a video game, you're immediately thinking to yourself, I should really be doing this on my channel and not just playing it. So you wind up oftentimes like delaying playing a game, but then you have trouble finding the time to fit it in. And so it's, yeah, like, <laughs> it's... I, there's not off. I wouldn't just like sit down and play Icarus by myself so much because I'm like, I should really be streaming that if I'm going to be playing it. It's funny. Okay. Got the sap. This isn't going to make a whole lot of cement, but we got some anyway. Gotta get some more supplies. Ooh, yeah. In particular, I need more silica ore. So we gotta go find some more of that. Uh, we sh probably should also get more iron. Now, I had um, access to cave under the water that had some stuff in it, and there was also one in the tunnel over here. can't remember. I, I feel like I was going to put a walkway in the tunnel over here so I wouldn't have to have so much of a pain getting in and out. I can't remember if I did it or not. Look like a donkey from a distance for a sec. Oh, I got corn right here. Completely forgot about this stuff. Feed that to my animals too. Okay, I didn't do the walkway yet. I gotta do that. Not a streamer and I have no family to look after, so I got all the time in the world for games, especially now that you quit working for a year. Yeah, that would do it. <laughs> that that would certainly uh, afford you plenty of opportunity for gaming. All right, what have I got in here? I should have some floors, I think. Um, only five. Need to make more floor. Oh, actually. It's gonna require wood I don't have, I guess. Let's see, wood floor, so that needs fiber. Seven. Seven floors. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. Hold on. Cancel that. Thank you. Um, let's make some... Oh, wait. I have stairs already. I have stairs already. I don't need to, I don't need to do that. Let's get the stairs out of here. Okay. Weather event incoming. Oh, I guess I'll have to worry about that too. But if it's in the cave, <laughs> stairs the stairway to heaven. Now I'm gonna put uh, I'm gonna put a walkway above the water in that tunnel so that I don't have to swim in the water to go through there because it's kind of a pain in the butt. Assuming it'll let me. And then uh, that should make navigating there a bit easier, like running in and out. Not taking a year off for games. It was uh, just something I could do. Took a year off to travel around the U.S. in your car and camping gear. Oh, that's cool. That'd be awesome. It'd be nice to take a year off and just, like, bum around and do whatever. I'm weird, though. I have trouble even just taking, like, days off of work. I don't work nearly as hard as I used to, but I just... I, I just find it... find it hard to, uh... take time off. I always feel like I have to have a plan, you know? It's like, the time's gotta be used for something, otherwise it's just wasted. Come on. Mind you, I took two days off this week to, to play uh, uh, Assassin's Creed Mirage, so, you know. I guess as long as I have something I'm doing with the time, it's alright. <laughs> yeah, wouldn't mind y'all crashed on my couch? Sure, only 178 of you, I'm sure that's fine. It's a spacious couch. I don't know if it's that spacious, but, uh, you know, it's, it's got some room. Okay. In order to make the concrete furnace... Did they change the way that looks, or is it the same? You know, let's just make just make this easier. There it is. They did change the way it looks. 
Uh, I need 12 epoxy, 12 or 20 concrete mix, 12 iron ingots, 8 rope. Uh, I did have some epoxy in here, I think. I have 25 epoxy here. Definitely need more rope. There it is there, okay. Uh, iron ingots. I have some here. I'm going to need to get more for sure. Not necessarily for this specifically, but just in general. Thirteen concrete. That's seven short. See that? I did math. Chris with the super chat. Take a year off, you hoser. Hey, take off, eh, you hoser. <laughs> hey, like, welcome to the Great White North, eh? I'm Bob, and this is my brother Doug. How's it going, eh? Uh, okay, well, that didn't work. I need a fire. Because apparently torch fire is not good enough. I'm going to play scrap these down. How much wood do I get out of those? Destroy. Yeah, I got 60 wood. That'll do. Oop. Oh, I forgot I made uh, gamey meat in here. Too much food right now. Wonder Twin Powers activate. I really kind of hope there's a point at which the uh, sleeping in bed actually advances time in this game. That would be kind of nice. Hot Lawn Suit fell asleep and is now typing the dreams he's having in chat. What's this now? Hi, <sighs> Mrs. Vox. What's for dinner? <laughs> She's like, I don't know. You'll have to ask my husband. He cooks more often than I do. I made scones today for the first time. I found out this weird baking kick where I've been like trying to bake things I've never made before. So I made like I made bread recently and English muffins. Today I made uh, some orange cranberry scones. I, I cook potatoes too. Yeah, the kids love mashed potatoes. They're like addicted. <laughs> That's with the super chat. There's no money in streaming. Wait, <laughs> there's money there. Don't you worry. There's money in streaming. I mean, you gotta get the views to get the money, but... First you get the views, then you get the money, then you get that wee man. Um... Crap, I'm out of wood. Okay, I gotta go chop some trees down. Oh, which... I also need to get an axe made. I should probably do that. I could've sworn I made another axe, but I, I, I clearly don't have it, so... Clearly must be wrong. So I can make a uh I can make an iron axe, I guess. I just need some wood, leather, and nails. Leather shouldn't be a problem. We got quite a bit in here. <laughs> the wood is an issue, but I can break down some walls or something here. I'll break these down, why not? Mmm, bread, another baked goods. Mm. Did I make the scone with eggs? Uh, no, I didn't. It was, uh, flour, baking powder, salt, heavy cream, butter, sugar. I think that was the bulk of it, and then, like, the cranberries, and, and then, uh, yeah, I think that was it. It was a. It, it ended up kind of like the dough was wetter than I think it was supposed to be, but it still turned out good, so I won't complain. It was just messy to work with because it was a little bit too wet. Okay, I need this shepherd's pie. Uh, yeah, I make uh, I make cottage pie as opposed to shepherd's pie. I don't think the kids would be into the whole lamb thing. But I like, uh, I make a, a cottage pie using uh, ground turkey meat instead of, like, ground beef. <laughs> make jerky lately, too dang expensive at the store. It is crazy expensive at the store. It's nuts what they charge you for dried out meat.
Plus, homemade jerky is always more, um, I don't know, it's, it's like more flavorful and moist. Moist. Stuff you get at the store is just, like, by the time they package it up and you get it, like, however long it is after they make it, it's just never as good. How's the new dog? She's, uh, she's settling in better. She's still having some challenges with her and her energy level. She gets, uh, hyper easily. First thing in the morning, like, keeping her off the furniture and stuff's brutal. So, like, first thing in the morning, she runs in and jumps on top of me. And then she's, like, licking my face, and she's all over me. And she's a 50-pound dog. Like, she's not, like, a little thing. <laughs> so it's a bit much. But she sees, like, a squirrels in the backyard, and then she just, like, freaks out, and she's, like, jumping at the back door. We have, like, sliding doors in the back of our house. And she jumps almost all the way up to the top of them. She goes out a hundred times a day to pee or whatever, but she's very cute. She's very sweet and lovable, very cuddly. She's just kind of a handful is all. She's settling in better. Her and, uh, her and Ren are getting along now. They play all the time now. I have some, uh, I have some cute pictures of them kissing. <laughs> Where they're like, licking, like literally licking inside each other's mouths. It's kind of, uh, it's a little bit racy, so I won't share them, but. <laughs> Yeah. Now kiss. No. <laughs> so, uh, Lila has been. Lila had some medication she had to take, so she was getting peanut butter with her with her medicine to get her to take it because we. I was having a really hard time getting her to swallow the pills. I got it. They worked okay for the first couple times, and then after that, she got really good at spitting them out. So we tried mixing them in with peanut butter, but then she gets peanut butter in her face, and of course Ren likes peanut butter too, and so she's like licking Lila's face, trying to get the the peanut butter remnants off. It's funny. They're cute anyway. He's a very sweet dog. Sounds ew more than cute. <laughs> Probably not much point in fixing that, but whatever, I did it anyway. Okay, um... I know I chopped down wood for a reason, and I actually don't remember why now. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna make some stacks of wood in here, maybe. Thirteen! Holy... Okay. Uh, maybe we'll leave the stacks of wood outside. I wasn't expecting to be able to make thirteen of them, that's nuts. So much wood, so little time. That's what she said, giggity. I should just build a perimeter wall around my base using this stuff. You see how the uh, animals can't damage it. The weather doesn't hurt it. But, uh, why can't I stack that one? What's going on here? Okay, well that didn't work. Okay, that should solve the wood problem for a little bit. Uh, let's go start on the platform over here. My cave operation set up. What the? Pigmy lop? Okay. This is the fancy name for, for a rabbit? Oh no, I killed your mother, I'm sorry!
Didn't want that poor critter to miss its mom. That would have been horrible. Uh, no, wrong button. <laughs> okay, I should have, uh, should have made more floors before I came in here, I guess. Should work well, though, I think. Kill off the mean stuff. Can't have them running around. Weed up the hill behind your base, Mr. Fox. There's also an entrance to the snow biome where the waterfall is uh, F5, G5 area. There's also wolves and bears. Hooray! Wolves and bears, my favorite. Said nobody ever. Oh yeah, I need more floor. Uh, I need fiber. I guess I'll need to take back some of this wood already. I mean, another dozen anyway. What food's way too expensive? 12 two ounce packs for 30 bucks. Just turn his uh, dry food wet and then I have to weed him off the wet stuff. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we feed our, uh, our dogs dry food. Um, Lila is. Uh, He's really good at eating, it seems. We're going through just crazy amounts of food now. Like, we've definitely more than doubled the food the food consumption by adding another dog. What? Are you kidding right now? That's payback for your mom's poor behavior, little animal. Don't blame me, blame your mom. Dare that thing attack my floor. We got the darn thing built already and they're breaking it down on me. There we go. It's way easier. I already have a ramp in here too. What I don't have, though, is any kind of consistent lighting. I don't have the stuff to make floor torches, though. I need more sulfur. I just have some... I just have, have some steady lighting that just hangs out in here. The mess with me, worm things. Okay, we're good. I think that's it. My floor is all wonky. Yeah, it is. I don't really care, though. <laughs> I just want a walkway that, that saves me the trouble of swimming. And so, my idea is going to be that uh, this cave isn't going to last very long. It'll be empty soon enough. I think it's... I've kind of taken a lot of stuff out of it already, I think. Uh... But if I finish the walkway all the way through the cave, then I don't have to swim to go through the cave. I can just like ride along on a floor. I think it would be all right. As long as some critter doesn't smash it or whatever, but I think I'll, there's not very much left in here. We're already just about at that point where this, this cave's useless now. <laughs> Aside from a way to pass through to get to the other area of the map. BB with the Super Chat. Contribution to Doggy Thanksgiving. Well, thank you for the Super Chat. Much appreciated. 
They'll be, uh, I'm sure they'll get some turkey and stuff. Man, the one Thanksgiving one, uh, I don't know, maybe like a couple years after we had Ren, I was making the turkey, and uh, some of the turkey juice dripped on the floor, and the dog licked it up. And at the time, I was thinking, oh, it's whatever, dogs eat raw meat, they can do, it won't be an issue. Boy, was I wrong. Don't ever let your dog eat the turkey drippings, like, before the bird is cooked. <laughs> we had to go to the vet with her, and it was like this gigantic bill. <laughs> it was awful. At the fir and at first I didn't remember, like, I couldn't think of what it might, what it might be. You're like, man, I don't know why the dog is so sick. What is going on? And so we, uh, we took her to the vet. And the vet's like, uh, by any chance did, did the dog get a, uh, get a hold of the raw turkey or any juices? And I was like, uh, yeah, she got some off the floor. He's like, yeah, every, every holiday season we get a rush in of dogs that have, like, gotten the, the, the raw bird juices. <laughs> and, uh... And they get sick after. I was like, oh, well, crap. I was like, what do they do in the wild? Are they just sick all the time? When's Canuck Thanksgiving? It's uh, th this this weekend, actually. So this is a long weekend for us here in Canada. Thanksgiving's on Monday. We're having the family over to do the uh, Thanksgiving thing on Monday. I guess uh, mo most of the time we would do it on the Sunday, but as it turns out, just people weren't really available on Sunday this time this time around. My wife's uh, parents are coming down from up north. Have all the people in our home for uh, turkey and such. Why is that breaking? Why is that on fire? Why did that catch fire? Oh, the pickaxe! Oh my god, I forgot about that. I've got this pickaxe that uh, can sometimes automatically smelt things. So you see, like, the iron I've been gathering up, some of it's in the the copper too. It's, it's already been smelting, which is amazing. Uh, but don't hit the wooden, uh, don't hit wooden stuff with it, because apparently you can set it on fire. <laughs> Happy almost dead turkey day, that's right. Thank you very much. Alright, well that's it for in here. The short-lived uh, use for that flooring, but... Like I said, the, uh, I'll I think I'll continue the floor through the cave so I, I don't have to swim to go through this tunnel. That way I can come through like a horse or something too when I'm uh, riding around. Don't eat the dead horse. That's rude. Go ahead, a few trees, please. <laughs> hey, you want me to start a forest fire? Is that what's going on here? Reminds me, how did Nate injure himself? Oh, he hurt his back at work, I think. I don't know exactly how, but, uh,. Apparently was at work. Hit your base with it for science. My base is made out of stone. Aside for the flooring and stuff inside, but I really don't want to light the inside of my base on fire. Feel like that would be awkward. Got this nice little house and everything. I don't want to wreck it. That'd be terrible. That'd be terrible. All right, I know I was doing something for something or other, but I don't remember what. Um, I got a lot of iron in here that's not smelted. Do copper in one, I guess, and iron in the other. Um, where did I put that excess wood I had? We'll just peel another one off the stack. Okay, so those are going. No, oh, got all this copper on me. Needs to go in here. I 
Oh, the bones need to go in this upper one because I need that for making crushed bone. Okay. Uh, okay, I gotta go get my hands on some silica. So I can finish making that concrete we need. I don't know where a good place to get silica is, but we'll just follow around the lake maybe and see what we find. I need silica for the concrete for it. <laughs> yeah, I do. <laughs> Funny enough, I just thought of it before even reading your message. Uh, yeah, I was I was mucking around with other stuff. I, I'm easily distracted, what can I say? Sadly, this is nothing new. Upgrade my door? What, just for kicks? Or just so it looks prettier? Gotta have a purdy door! Can't be having none of them there normal doors. Found you. Oh, it's hanging on the side of the rock wall. More sulfur would be good too. Necro Fox finally able to catch a stream in a long time. Hey James, how you doing? Happy Saturday or whatever day it might be where you are. Once you get the miasmic pickaxe, you'll be set uh, for anywhere you want. Just be careful with it uh, to take a creature with storage, or else you'll die. Huh? I'll die from a pickaxe? What do you mean? Because I'll be like overburdened all the time. What's, what's this pickaxe I've got? What is the obsidian one? I have silica at the cave entrance too. Did I? All right. You know, oxide. I mean, I might have a decent amount of it now already, actually. Oh, it's cool here. Let's we'll grab that while we can see it. It's funny this pickaxe doesn't like the coal on fire. I suspect that was a conscious decision on the developer's part. Saturday, 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 Saturday. Go find the dangerous pickaxe for science. Look at that pickaxe and we'll just go, Leroy Jenkins! Uh, ooh, this is the entrance of the swamp like right here. We should go check that out today. I think this is the swamp entrance. Fairly certain this is it right here. Some of those evil drac things. I don't like them. They're not nice. What the heck? Um, is that a mix between a turtle, a snail, and a lobster? Okay. Does it die? Yeah, it dies easy enough. Creature bestiary unlock. Press J to open field guide. Bestiary. Where's the strider? Uh, Prometheus. It's not grasslands. This isn't the volcanic region. It's got to be like swamp, right? Strider. Swamp. I don't know what any of this is. Oh. Creature traits. Oh, I haven't looked at any of this stuff. <laughs> you can hear the vocalizations of the thing. That's crazy. What do I get for, like, this? Do I get chitin or something off of this? Crystallized miasma, a delicate substance often found coating creatures that inhabit swampy areas of Icarus. Okay. Oh, what are you? An Ubis? This is important when you find new creatures to murder them because reasons. 
Don't question me. Nazmit pickaxe will contaminate the ores with uh, the ores will poison you. There's a machine that cleanses the ores. One noxious ore equals fun. Man, why would I want that? Acidic glands, a specific specimen that can be cleaned to cleaned to gain animal fat. Toxic to humans, this will damage you when carried. Oh, I don't want that. Wait a minute. Okay, no, the crystallized miasma doesn't hurt me. I'm leaving the acidic glands behind. It sound like it's worth it. <gasps> oh my god, the sky's at it. Oh, oh, okay. No, nope, never mind. I thought I was gonna get brighter in here, but it's just a disgusting, pukey green color. I guess being a swamp, that makes sense. I'm so excited to see a change in lighting. It's coming right for us! That works way better when you hit your target, I guess. Music change, too. Got ferns out here. No, I'm a little distracted from my mission, but this is not as swampy looking as I thought the swamp would look, I'm not gonna lie. What are you? <gasps> potatoes! Oh my god, I've got potatoes! Give me potatoes. Wait, the potatoes there should be a source of starch in the game, right? Oh no, it's yeast is the one that's the that separate plant. Never mind. Never mind. I got potatoes, baby! I'm making french fries later. No, it took 300 years to give the giant tortoise a scientific name because it was so delicious it never survived the trip back to Europe for classification. There's a mammoth out here. What's a mammoth doing in the swamp? I'll tell you what it's doing in the swamp. It's dying. Oh, that, that was not as effective as I thought it would be. Okay. Is it borked? It's not moving. That was weird. I guess they're not big on moving. Maybe I can carry it back to my crafting bench. My <laughs> last poutine! Sweet! Ooh, mammoth tusks. A fortunate ivory from a titan reborn. A small step towards revealing Icarus's secrets. What are, what are the tusks useful for? What the heck? Oh, my inventory's full. Um... I don't need, oh, potato seeds I need. Gotta have potato seeds. Two sticks we don't need, we'll take the tusk. Cool, man, okay, well, we'll come back to the swamp and look around a little more later. I did get, uh... I could get some more silica over out here if I can find some. I think I saw some along the rock wall over here. Am I going the right direction? <laughs> so foggy. Oh! Well, I hadn't planned for that. The silica I'm harvesting is turning into glass. So I'm not even getting as much silica as I want. I don't have the other- I gotta get the other pickaxe on me. That's crazy. So confirmed, sometimes this is useful and sometimes it's really not. <laughs> Alright, let's go. Toxic stuff doesn't affect your team, so imagine all the titanium and platinum you could get with a uh, one toxic titanium equals five normal titanium. Oh, really? Is that okay? I guess that makes it worthwhile then. So if you're getting like significantly more out of it, out of you like 
once you decontaminate it, then I guess that's worth the effort. I, I was thinking it was like a one-to-one -one trade off. Like, what's the point? Just use a regular pickaxe, but that makes sense. That's an interesting incentive to poison yourself. Oh, I guess I should eat some food here too. It looked to be funny. It was gonna turn aggressive. I had to deal with it. Don't judge me. Oh, I can't pick this thing up. Oh well. Kind of like the downside to mining uranium, I guess. <laughs> Mine uranium, get the little radioactive thing. I guess I could see that being a problem. Really? Bueller. I gotta put a bridge across this little waterway. Okay, I got stuff. Lots of stuff. Not as much stuff as I thought I got, actually. Um, so I got a hundred of the silica. I would have got more if I hadn't turned a bunch of it into glass. I took care of that. Some potato seeds in here. Mmm, taters. Oh wait, I have other seeds on me. I have no idea what to do with these mammoth tusks, so I guess we'll just stick them in my inventory for now. Maybe with the crystallized miasma, I don't know what to do with that either. Okay, with this other meat we can turn it into fat. This is just gonna go to waste anyway if I don't do something with it. Maybe I'll salt the white meat. Preserve it a little longer. Refill O2 tank. We don't need no stinking O2. <laughs> Check the milling bowl, there's a recipe for them. Oh, is there? What happened there? Uh, I guess that's downstairs. I still haven't got any snow for the icebox too. I guess I should deal with that at some point also. Um, okay, the mortar and pestle. Powder, seed oil, tree sap. Oh, crushed bone. Oh, you get ten of the crushed bone out of each mammoth tusk. That's pretty handy. That's not too hard to take. Wait a minute. It sounds like my horse is dying out here. What the heck? Get out of here! Leave my horse alone! What's wrong with you? Jeez! What the heck, man? Okay, there we go. Okay, I thought my stuff would be safe with that wall, but apparently it's not enough to keep the animals out. I need, like, a proper wall. It's nature, don't interfere. <laughs> it's the circle of life, baby. Well, I interfered anyway. Like, for it to come in there and aggressively attack my horse thing like that. Like, what's going on there? What's the deal with these horses things? <laughs> I have a lot of animal fat in here. Ooh, we leveled up. Hooray. Definitely needed those leveling up points or something. Uh, ooh, that's meant to be done. Yes. Okay. So, in here now. In my epoxy and my rope. Epoxy. There we go. Bloop, bloop. 
concrete furnace. So with that, we can smelt gold, we can smelt aluminum. We can smelt whoever dealt it. It'll be great. Maybe not so much that last one, that won't be great, but... Uh, I'm gonna put... Mm. Uh, hmm. Yeah. Might be in the way a little bit, but I'm gonna stick this here for now. Oh, that's not too bad, actually. Hopefully it doesn't set the curtains on fire or anything. Oh, I don't have any sulfur in here. Get that fixed easy enough. That's right, keep ignoring your oxygen. It's fine. The thing is, it's not like you get penalized as your oxygen level goes down. It's really only a problem once you completely run out. Might need actual walls. Yeah, I was kind of, uh... Kind of avoided it because I didn't want to have to deal with the foundation stuff. I guess I could put some stone foundations and put some walls up that way. And then I suppose I could put... I could make it, like, bigger. We'll make a bigger compound out of it. It'd be like Compound V. That's right, it's only a problem when it kills you. Anytime before that, it's not really a problem. To the tune of yesterday. Jealousy. All my friends are better off than me. Wild animals are killing my horsey. Uh, nope, not that. Bones can go in here. Skins can go in there. Probably not much point carrying this axe around with me either. Maybe I'll put it in here with my other tools. Once we get the station thing set up so we can call in repair stuff. Then I can radio for repair kits or whatever. Uh, and that certainly will help, I guess. Right. Palisade doesn't need foundations. Well, it was about trying to get them to line up right seemed to be the problem when I was trying to make walls out here before. But I, I think it was when I was trying to make, like, normal walls. Um, I didn't build the palisade. I don't know how big the palisade is, but... I guess I could do a palisade from the corner of the house and just, like, repa replace this whole thing. I might need to if these things are going to get eaten. Killed by other wild animals or whatever. Give her dominoes with it. Don't forget to get a new pickaxe. Uh, well, I've got... The, oh, yeah. Uh, that one's okay. Well, I'm okay for silica right now. I think I'll just make a point of when I have to go get silica, I'll grab that other pickaxe. I already have one crafted. It's, like, right here. I've got the iron pickaxe. Uh, I don't have a platinum one, but I've got the iron one. Uh, I want to get that furnace going. Where did I store the gold and stuff? So I've got uh, aluminum and gold in here. I, did, I surprisingly didn't find all that much. Aluminum or gold in the caves I was in so far. I'll get that going. I probably should work on um, making steel, because I know I'm going to need it. And so I need the steel bloom for that. A bunch of charcoal and ingots, I guess. Ingots I have a bunch of in here. Steel bloom, max. Ten, that's it? Jeez. Oh, oddly enough, I'm limited by charcoal, but I've got plenty in here. There we go. Wait a minute. That one's three at a time. That one's three at a time. What's the difference between these two? Confused. Oh, I see. It's using charcoal instead of coal ore. Okay. Oh, that's cool. I like that better. 
I get tons of charcoal just from cooking stuff all the time. I never use it. Okay, who's messing with my stuff? Someone's attacking somewhere. It's gotta be attacking the back of the house, maybe. Maybe not? Where'd the combat music go? That's weird. Oh, I broke my ramp thing! A little drag jerk. Ah, oh, crap. Now I gotta deal with jumping up this thing again. <laughs> Another one. <laughs> What now? Don't mess with me! Light hail. Oh, torch burned out. I feel like they shortened the duration that the torches last in the game. Oh my god, how could we be under attack again already? Oh, okay, it's up back here, that's what it is. I can't see anything, where's my torch? Oh, I forgot about my oxygen. I should probably go get that. <laughs> there we go. Proxy properly oxygenated again. Seventy-six percent health, seventy-nine percent health. Are they taking damage from this storm out here? This hail? Doesn't look like it. They're both injured, though. Okay. So, for this little beacon thing, I want to make this thing here. Got the steel in progress. Steel bloom, anyway. 33 of those. We can cook that over here now. Uh, gold... How do we make gold wire? That's new. Oh, there it is there. Gold wire takes one refined gold. Okay, so we don't need a ton of wire. Or a ton of gold, rather. Make that happen. So that thing requires a total of 50 copper wire. I mean, I gotta make 10 of these to get the 50 copper wire. 25 gold wire, 25 steel ingots, and 30 aluminum ingots. Uh, aluminum I might run short on. Okay, I need five of these. Okay, I need 25, uh, 25 steel ingots and then the aluminum. Steel's gonna take a little bit. Weird looking dogs here. Yeah, they're like the, uh... They're like those dog critter things from Ghostbusters. <laughs> Zool's pets or whatever. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I remember those. I am the key master. I am the gatekeeper. Put the key in the lock.
awkward. Seventy-eight percent, eighty-four percent. So they're not getting hurt by the storm, it seems. I think eighty-four is higher than where this thing was before. I think it's actually healing. This one I'm not sure about. Yeah, brown chicken, brown cow. Ooh, 25 aluminums. Boop, boop. How close are we to making this thing now? Five more aluminum and then the steel ingots, and then we're good to go to craft that thing. And I've got the chip I have to put in it to complete that quest. Good, I have enough. We'll have enough, baby! House is so nice, but it needs more furniture and decoration. It's so empty. It is a little bit, yeah. Well, I mean, this is like my crafting area with all the benches and stuff. Up here, I was going to try to design this to look a little bit more friendly, inviting, bedroomy. Um, but I might need to like move my kitchen stuff down because it's taking up too much room in the bedroom area. You know what I mean. Oh, someone said we should do a nicer door for the front here, too. Uh, what's it take to make a better door? Um, is it in here? Reinforced door. We need rope, wood, ingots, iron nails. Uh, wood. Make some more rope. I'm not getting a lot of rope out of there. Probably just make two of the doors, I guess. Means I'm gonna need more nails. <laughs> He's a woman's touch, that's right. <laughs> my, my wife's not really super into gaming. I think she mostly is convinced I'm a geek for the amount of gaming I do. And by mostly, I mean definitively. Oh, that's weird. Can't combine those together. I gotta get some more fiber, oddly enough. <laughs> Dearest plant granteth me thine fibers. Husband games more than you do, but I uh, never thought it was geeky. Well, yeah, my wife definitely, definitely thinks it's geeky. <laughs> she didn't. My wife didn't grow up as a gamer herself. She wasn't really. She played a little bit of like Super Mario kind of thing, but mostly is not very into games. So from that perspective, she's uh, quite certain I'm a geek. I can't exactly say she's wrong. I am kind of a geek, but, you know, whatever. To thine own self be true, as they say. I thought geek was the new chic. I mean, it kind of is. Geeks rule the world, man. <laughs> yeah. Nerd! I really need to get a clip of Homer Simpson saying that. <laughs> That's what I need to have in my life. <laughs> I gotta get that as like an audio clip thing. I can just hit a button, it'll do it. Nerd! <laughs> you grew up gaming? Yeah, me too. I, I For me and my brother, it, was, it started with like, you know, the stand-up arcades and all that kind of stuff. We had the, and then we got the Atari and Commodore 64 and all those old systems or whatever. So we just grew up gaming. It was just a part of life. For my wife, not so much. Ooh, I only got 20 out of that. Oh no, wait, I got 33, we're good. 
Okay, I can finally make this thing of a Jigger Bomber that I've been slacking on. I, wonder, I hope I don't have to power it, because that would suck. I haven't built anything to make power yet. Yeah, OG Gamer, right from the beginning. I even played Pong. <laughs> my age is showing. Sorry, I'll put my pants back on. Oh, uh, well, that thing takes a while to craft, huh? ColecoVision. I, had, I didn't have a ColecoVision myself, but a friend of mine had one. Need to have that as your new sub alert? I went, nerd! <laughs> we'll set it up for like donations or something. When people make a super chat, it'll go, nerd! <laughs> oh, God. Revenge of the Nerds movie proves it. Nerds rule the world, yeah. You're older, pinball machines. I mean, I played pinball machines too, but. Yeah. Um, what was I waiting on? Oh, yeah, this thing. Okay, I finally got whatever this is, the infrasonic the infrasonic frigma boomer. Uh I, I gather it goes outside. I guess. Upgrade for the contact device, it will allow access to encoded missions. Oh, I can only drop wait a minute. Do I, does it go in here? Is it does it Missing Ultra Ultra Fumophonic thingy. How do I Missing encrypted satellite upgrade. How do I upgrade this thing? I've got it right here. Infrasonic relay upgrade. Infrasonic relay upgrade. Do I have to like like drag and drop it on there? Finish my doors. Listen, you're not expecting me to not be distracted. Oh, there we go. This should help us stay in touch in the future. Goddamn! Oh, look at this thing! Away, treat me like I'm obsolete. Cost-saving beauty. It's got a roof on it now. Uh. Okay, that's quite the upgrade. Fancy. Yeah, simple quest. Short missions would take place in the local area, rewarding experience, planetary items, and small amounts of ren. Our operations. Long for multi-stage missions would take place across the map. Rewards Ren and Exotics depending on operation. So I'm guessing I probably want the operations. Because I think I was only getting the simple quest before with that mission board, right? Uh, now how do I do this prototype UDA communication upgrade? Oh, it already says mission complete. Prometheus open world. Recovery, stolen items, mission complete. So how do I... Do I not have to do anything with this? With the plans for... Oh, this is just the plans! Ew! I thought it was like a chip that I had to stick in somewhere. Alright. We can... We got this. Split stack. Like that. Oh. Crap. Bloop! Alright. Reinforced doors. There you go. They'll look fancier than the other ones. They're still not super fancy, but they're fancier than the ones I had, I guess. Uh, all next to pick up. There we go. There's a fancier door for you. It still looks pretty plain, but, you know, it's better than the one I had. I'll swap out this door for one, too, I guess. Get the next mission. Yeah, I will. Uh, okay, eight. There we go. These can get destroyed. Beauty. Uh, and I guess I'll just put this this thing in here because I don't I don't know what to do with it otherwise. Once downloaded the suit, there's no need for this item. Okay, so... I could destroy it, I guess. Is that, is that a thing we could do? I can only drop it. Oh, well, whatever, we'll stick it in there. I can't see if careful of the fancy doors to track Jehovah's Witnesses. They're like, ooh, look at that guy! You can afford some donations! Uh, alright, let's go with, uh... an operation. I mean, why not? Oh, this does bring up this map. 
Oh, sweet. Oh, wait, why is this an X-Dote? Unavailable in open world, Horizon Exploration. Oh, that makes sense, because we're already here. I mean, we don't really need to explore-i- explore up -fies. Shadowed Investigation. Follow the Thief's Trail. And we have Celebrity Chef Stockpile. You need to add VIPs are requesting some delicacies from Prometheus. Get three days to complete that. Crystal Extraction. Extraction of rare ice resources. Um, I mean, that would send me to the freezing area, which I'm not really set up for yet. Let's go with the Celebrity Chef. Alpine Delicacies. Travel to map location. Marshland. Oh. Ew. I see. Okay. So I gotta go to the marsh. And the Alps. Fancy. Okay. It's weird. There wasn't like a... Uh, it wasn't like a vocalized mission thing. Icarus 3-day forecast. Yeah, Alright. Fine. All right, I have food, uh, I have ammo. Water's in good shape, oxygen's all right. I guess we're gonna be uh, on our way. I think I just doubled up a buff there with the wrong thing. Yeah, I did, there we go. Alpine Delicacy sounds like a nickname for ice cream. Oh no, Miss Fox, I'm not cheating with my diet. I'm indulging in an Alpine Delicacy. <laughs> sounds about right. Sounds about right indeed. Uh, what else do I want to make in here? I guess if we're going to upgrade to the next tier, we're going to need to make the uh, the next crafting bench. Which is the Fabricator. Uh, that's going to need a whole lot of stuff. Probably should make more steel, I guess. Let's get deactivate. Two? What? Oh man, I went through all that charcoal already. Okay. Off to the Alps, I guess. I've got uh, some flooring. I don't really have anything else. Hopefully, I don't need anything else. How many mounts have I gone through? Um, not really too many at all, actually. I haven't killed any yet. Come on, give me my arrow back. Oh my god. There we go. Hi, oh, Zilver! Away! The jumping with these things is really weird. Like, you can't jump at a gallop. It's so strange. <laughs> I bounce around very woodenly on this thing, too. Up for the yellow snow. Oh man, yellow snow. I guess it's easier just to ride around that cave rather than going through it. I gotta go this way. Punk rock horse? Yeah. <laughs> it's got a mohawk. Is it on an alien planet on an alien horse? Isn't that strange? I guess so. So don't understand this whole come down from space in a literal rocket ship to grab a rock and tie it to a stick to build a... Yeah, it's a little weird. I, I guess the, the premise is supposed to be you're dirt poor. And so while you could afford to get out to the station in order to do prospecting and get down to the surface... You couldn't afford any of the necessary materials in order to bring stuff with you. So you go through the normal survival process of 
gathering up tons of stuff. Um, this is going to go into the swamp over here. So I guess it's just like you, you just sort of take a gamble on things. You, uh, you decide to go to the planet to try to prospect. With the hopes that uh, you'll be able to make enough money or something to equip yourself better, come back with a fortune or what have you. I should make sure I know how to dismount. Oh, it's easy. Okay. Back to the swamps, which actually look not very swampy, aside from the weird green air. Uh, this does not seem like the way, unless there's a pathway out of the swamp into that cold area. Is that what Gold Rush is like? Which... Holy, it's going very... even more green. I found the murkiness. Oh, but the damp, Mo, the dank! What is that? That's not the right tool, is it? Now there's that. Oh, the sledgehammer! Oh, right. Okay. Did I make a sledgehammer before? I feel like I might have, and I... Don't recall if I did. Clay deposit. We can make bricks with that, I guess. We could live in one of those uh, two-story brownstone walk-ups or whatever. Where are you? Tall ferns. There's a cave right here, it looks like, too. What is a cave? Ooh, that looks like platinum. It is. That's copper? That seems weirdly colored. Maybe it's just the swamp lighting's making it look strange. More platinum, nice. Yes, please. Probably should take some iron back with me too, I guess. Copper, copper. Hope you keep your horses on defensive. Uh, no, it's kind of on passive right now, so I guess it, it wouldn't defend itself, which is probably problematic.
Anyway, I don't need to mine everything, but, uh... Ow! No, come back! Don't run away, horse! Okay, well, I probably should uh, do something about that. Passive, defensive. If I have it on defensive, though, I, like, I don't want it to, like, to try to defend me, because that would be lame. It just wanted to defend itself. Hate the corresponding changes, but at the same time, they do get us moving around more. Yeah. Yeah. Like, having the, uh, platinum, for example, in the swampy zones instead of, like, in any cave you walk into, I guess. Doesn't make a certain amount of sense. Guess you're moving around. Another mammoth over there. Why the mammoth hangs out in the swamp, though, I don't understand. It's kind of weird. <laughs> what the heck? Spiked brambles? <laughs> Sorry, horse. Just messed him up a bit. Okay, well, that's fun. Can I go around them? More clay. Alright, this is not gonna get me where I wanna go. I gotta go back. What kind of plant are you? Potatoes! That's right. I forgot the potatoes were red. Wait, this way? Rode through the brambles again because I'm smart. You can grab wagon carts now. It'll be alright. Get a whole back a bunch of stuff, that'd be pretty handy. If you craft a wagon, or make it easy to carry whatever you have in the wild. Yeah, I mean, you can also put stuff in the inventory of your animal. You can carry a certain amount of stuff, so I could put like this stuff in there, for example. Potatoes. Don't take it. I guess that's just food that goes in that spot. But it's got a pretty good carry weight. 300 kilograms worth it could take. It's a backpack slot. Well, it's like the saddlebags or whatever, right? Oh, wait, that spot there? You can put a backpack in? Really? It's crazy. Okay. Huh. I learned something today. Weird sound effects out here. Potatoes are my aim. Yeah, I gotta have something to practice with, right? Just make a potato cannon. Another G slot. <laughs> mm, I don't really want to be messing with the horse's G spot. That just feels weird to me. So you can carry two exotic drills at once now as you have a mount. Yeah. And it will certainly prove handy, I'm sure. Trying to look around while I'm riding, but you can't. <laughs> kind of locks your vision forward with the direction the horse is running in.
I wonder if I should just like make a ramp up over the mountain. Build a ramp up the cliff face. Yeah, that's exactly what I was thinking, except that it's a pretty tall cliff. I don't know. Track. Yeah, I don't know if I want that thing on defensive. Why are you stomping on it? It's already dead, buddy. I'm gonna leave it on passive for now. I don't want to run it around killing things. It's pretty high up. We could try, I guess. Jaguar! Oh, crap. On a horse, run! Dismount! Multiple jaguars. Oh, good. That's right. Get jaguared. How hurt are you, horse? 92%. That's not bad. Six or seven ramps to get up? That's pretty high up. I don't know. I think six or seven will do it. I've got a few on me anyway. I brought uh, I got 11. Chick will be whether I have enough to get back down again on the other side. It's a lot more than six or seven, just for the record. <laughs> Oh, you're Dreadwing, whatever you are, stupid bird. Or just make a noise like it's under attack, but it's not right now. Yeah, way more than five or six. I <laughs> think he's in the wrong spot. Maybe. It's a little bit a little bit high here to be trying to climb over this way. Oh god, I accidentally jumped. Maybe we can find a better spot here. Another Jaguar. Or a Drac. Heck. There we go. Yeah, it was a Jaguar. Wrong button. Uh. What did I set as my drop button again? Ooh, there's a cave here. Wait a minute, does that cave go all the way through? Beacon thing, so I can throw some beacons down. Alright. I'm gonna walk and have the horse follow me. Come on, horse, step into the light.
Apparently it's cold. How am I going to get the horse to follow me down here? Oh, I forgot to name my horse Nate. <laughs> I just realized. Okay. Oh, it comes down easy enough. That's all right. It's dark and cold in here. Ah, there we go. Oh, come on. It really? Are you stuck? Okay, now we got a different problem because we're gonna have to deal with like, wolves and stuff. Uh, where are you? Is this some kind of weird winter horse? Which beast here unlocks Snow Wolf? All right, so we have to go just along the, the rock wall here. Need for armor for the snow biome. So I guess they changed it a little bit so that, I mean, I don't seem to be freezing, but I also didn't bring like a protective base or anything. Oh crap, go. That's with me, Snow Leopard. Don't forget to get ice for the fridge. Oh, that's a good idea. I forgot about that. So it used to be you could just grab like piles of snow. Is that still a thing? Yeah. Looking down at the snow is disorienting when you're moving around. I might need to gear up and come back when I can actually be warm. What have we got? 15, that's it? God. I'm gonna make a shovel so I can just dig some. Hope you brought lots of ladders. Well, I have ramps, but ladders maybe not so much.
All right, 40, 47 or 48 snow is pretty good. Uh, all right, let's go back. I'm going to need to get some better armor. It's weird that the horse doesn't make any noise in here. A little disturbing. <sighs> Weather incoming. Oh, man, it's already here. What are you talking about incoming? Best to make a temporary shelter with a workbench. You probably. A way to warm up too would be good. Okay, I'm gonna want to ramp down to here. Horse, take it easy. The grief. Which way are we going here? Yeah, something's chasing me. Crazy emu things. Twister. Far am I from home here? Jeff should add in tornadoes. <laughs> yeah, I still have him set on following. I just wasn't expecting him to jump off the cliff to come after me. Live and learn, I guess. All the trees are falling over. I'm suffering from exposure. Oh, this is great. I can't see anything now. This is awesome. The horse is having trouble moving. Found home. Come on, horse. You can do it. Come on, buddy. Yeah, I don't think he wants me being exposed. That'd be awkward. There we go. Jeez. I'm getting inside. Yeah. What crummy weather we found. <laughs> Fire's not going. Of course it's not. Um, I thought I had more wood around than that. Where did I oh, I put it in the... Uh, Woodworking bench, didn't I? Um, no, I didn't. Huh. Oh, whatever. It's enough to activate this thing. Oh, let's take that. Take this. Put away some of these things. I can stock up my icebox now.
both salted and uh, refrigerated now. Okay, daytime. Did I get my trucker hat back yet? <laughs> no, I did find another trucker hat, but it wasn't the same. It didn't have a brim on it. Don't forget all the stuff on the horse. Oh, yeah. I did forget about that. Wait a minute. Did I still have it? I still had it on follow. Okay, horse, stop following me now. Okay, what do I need for the next next bench? <sighs> Electronics that requires uh, what, gold and copper was it? Platinum sheath. What's that for? I specialize in forgetting. Don't be surprised by this. Come on, people. It should not be new for everyone by now. Uh, shotgun. There you go, electronics. Oh, gold wire, copper wire, epoxy, and resin. Okay. So I'm going to need more epoxy for sure. Because this stuff is made with the crushed bone, so that's alright. This I can start making some steel ingots out of. Epoxy. We got how to make the resin. Is that just in here? Uh, resin is like oxide. And, yeah, oxide and wood. Okay. We go smack some oxide, I guess. Go back. This game looks pretty cool, futuristic, but you have to do everything old school. Yeah, it's weird. Not gonna lie. The, the funny thing with this game is the the oddest part about it, or the whole thing, the part of it that doesn't really seem to fit super well, is the futuristic nature of it. As far as survival games go, it's got all the right things. You know, you've you got your tool progression, a really nice looking environment with some variety to it, lots of stuff to build and research, unlock, animals to hunt, all that kind of stuff. It's the weird part is just that it's uh, it's set on another planet, but still. You're, you're using primitive tools and dealing with mostly animals that look like they're from Earth. So, of all the stuff in it, it's the uh, congruous, incongruous part is just the uh, sort of the setting and what you have to do. Wouldn't be an awesome Clipping Fox livestream without the forgetfulness and Muppetry. Listen, don't say such accurate things about me. <laughs> Can't really argue that. I mean, <laughs> I don't have a mind like a sieve. I'm gonna blame it on the fact that I'm live and trying to pay attention to chat and stuff at the same time. That's what it is. All right, that should be plenty of oxide for now. Uh, that's in here. Oh crap! Uh, I get the glass out of here, I guess. I can come out of here. <laughs> Maybe I'll put the glass in the in the carpentry bench. Not useful here, but it's uh, gonna be out of the way at least. 
Okay, I need some of that wood. Never get to make your walls bigger to keep the animals safer. Yeah, we'll get around to it eventually. Maybe. <laughs> What's that blue slimy thing that farts poison? That was new. Wait, which blue slimy thing that farts poison? There's a whole Stardew Valley part of this game where you can do food and farming, is that accurate? Yeah, you can plant crops and grow all those kinds of things. Um, I do have some crop plots. You can put them right in the dirt, too, but the crop plots are kind of handy. I got a crop plot here somewhere. I don't know where it is. Oh, here, right here. Wood crop plot. So you can plant stuff in those. Um, but there's just so much food in this game. There's a, a dramatic overabundance. You end up killing so many wild creatures, you always have a, like a, a ton of uh, meat available. I think the... Um, I think the difference really that, in it, like, what would be useful, I guess, is um, just growing crops to feed to your animals, but... How do you make gold wire? One gold, uh, one gold piece. Refined gold, I guess it's called. Uh, in here, we'll make five wires, so you need to be in these, in this bench, the machining bench. Make gold wire in there. I need a total of 30 electronics. Takes five gold wire each, so I'm gonna need 30. I've got 28. Oh no, I've got 38. Okay, so I'm gonna need uh, 150 gold wire. So I need like. Uh, brain no work. More than 20. Was it 25? No, 30. What am I thinking? <laughs> I need 30. Need way more than that by the end. Yeah, by the time you get into like the tier 4 stuff. So we're only playing around with the tier 2 starting to stretch towards tier 3 for the crafting benches. Obviously it takes a lot. Silly amounts really. There are not enough materials to complete the recipe. Really? Okay. Take your word for it. Um, I need like five more of these though. Oh, that worked. Weird. Quest you're doing specifically requires tier three. Okay. Oh, if I got, if I, I assume I got to get the kitchen stuff set up, right? Uh, I need copper wire. I got a bunch of copper in here. How much wire do I need? Fifteen of them. So what? Seventy-five. Oh wait. Uh, <laughs> what am I thinking? Uh. 15 each. Brain's not working. I need 30. Each electronics requires 15 copper. That's a fair amount of copper. Holy cow. Okay. God, my, my brain was not mathing very well there, holy. Whatever, just throw all this in and we'll put it on max. <laughs> 88. It's gonna take a lot of copper, my god. Did they increase the cost of that or what? It feels like a lot more now. 
Maybe I'm wrong, but that, that just feels like a lot. It's late, it's okay. It's just, you know, I don't know what it is. Lately, I've been really mentally sluggish. I have to start taking that uh, AG1 everybody and their uncles hawking these days or something. <laughs> I'm mean, like the new map. It's cool, but the lighting really throws me off. The, the, the lack of, like, sunshine feels weirdly disturbing, you know? I need more, I need more epoxy. Like, having that con- like, when you go outside, having that constant purple light where it's sort of dim the whole time. I don't know, it's messing with my brain a little bit. I'm gonna get SADS. Seasonal Affective Disorder in Icarus. <laughs> Wait a minute, 500 what? Wait, what's going on here? I've got... Something... Something's not right. Something's not right. Something's happening here. So I made 400 already. That'll get me to 450. That's ready. Uh, make more epoxy. 440, in fact, 475 now. Okay, so I need, I need warm, whoops, jeez. I'm getting that tilde key. Uh, I guess this stuff doesn't provide cold protection now. I guess plus 30 cold resistance. Plus 16% cold resistance. I think it's all right to wear just this armor out there, right? I don't need fur armor. 30% cold resist, and the fur armor gives... Thirty percent cold resist. I mean... I don't need the fur armor. I guess I just have to make sure I have a shelter ready. Oh. I can make rugs. Oh my god. <laughs> you gotta have the head? That's weird. A little disturbing. Take some coffee along with you. Oh, yeah. Oh, the can- yeah, you're right. The canteen has that, uh, minus five degree temperature thing. I, I keep forgetting to unequip that thing when I go in the cold. Okay, so there's that. Uh, I do have to have some shelter with me, though, because, uh, you know, if we run into a storm or something, it's kind of important. Um, we'll get some wood here. I'm gonna have to stock up with some more stones. Donuts. Don't need cold resist to use Luke's Tauntaun trick. We'll just cut open my horse and climb inside. How'd you spend your weekend? Oh, you know, I was snuggled up inside a horse. But don't worry, I, I used protection. I had armor on. Sounded so wrong. Yeah, that's, that's kind of where I was going with that. <laughs> oh. Getting a note about my internet, but it looks like it's okay. Oh, he's stuck in the water. Poor little guy. All right, stones are acquired. Make two foundations. We'll make uh, six walls. Oh, I won't. I need more nails. Oh, I should bring this the um, sleeping bag with me too. In case I need to make it daytime. Did I make a? I don't. 
I don't have a campfire hiding here anywhere, do I? Guess not. I'm gonna have to make a campfire too. Okay, that, uh, my nails. And two roofs. <sighs> Try making a backpack for your horse. Uh, oh yeah, I should do that too, I guess. Um, where do I make the backpack? Is it in here? The woven rug. Leather backpack. Yeah, there we go. Let's see. Some of that. Need some rope and some fiber. Get that whipped up. Slope, snowstorm will collapse, flat roof. Well, I'd have to make half walls to make it sloped, I think. You'll make a bridge when he drowns or freezes riding the horse. <laughs> I keep thinking I'm going to make a bridge, but I haven't actually done it yet. The only trouble is that once I make a bridge, then the, the critters on the other side that have been kind of a nuisance will be able to like ride over. Uh, sticks and fiber. Sticks, fiber... Grab enough stone. Okay, that's good. I got a repair hammer. I mean, I could use that to keep the roof from falling in, right? Make two bridges with ramps you can jump from. Oh, like jump the gap, you mean? That might work. I don't think the animals jump, right? What's this guy doing now? How's his health? 57%. Is there a way I can heal the uh, the horse up? It's kind of not... That doesn't work. <laughs> is that the wrong the wrong backpack? Is there a separate one specifically for the animals? The saddles is bag. There's no edible backpack. Literally everybody's like, oh put a backpack in there. That's what it's for. <laughs> Alright, whatever. Bunch of liars, man. Dirty, rotten liars. Look at that, just enough. Items like drills and radar. Alright, alright, it's fine, it's fine. So we can use it to like, store some extra stuff, because the carry capacity on the horse is quite good. It's like 200. It's the same as my own. The funny thing is, the carry capacity of the horse is like 200 kilograms, but if I'm wearing a pack with 200 kilograms in it and I get on the horse... It's already over 200 kilograms at that point. Isn't that already a problem? Sources would say no, according to this game. Alright, I need... Uh... Oh, aluminum's gonna be a problem. I'm, I do not have aluminum. Uh, carbon fiber. I have more silica here. Uh, we'll take some stone up here. We'll make some more cement. Make some cement. All 11 of it. What are we doing here for steel? Got a little bit of steel there, we'll make some screws. So that leaves aluminum, carbon fiber. I'm, oh, actually I'm not gonna have enough concrete there yet either. Uh, what was the limiting factor there? Was it the silica or was it the stone? 
I think it was the stone. Maybe not. Nope, it's the silica. Dang it. Yep, silica is my limiting factor there. Can you make pet food? Uh, I don't have any wheat, so I can't. I put, like, vegetables in the feeding trough out here, though, so they have something to eat. So his food is fine. He's healing really, really slowly. I don't know if there's anybody to heal him faster. That slot of the mount is essentially the G slot to carry heavy items. Yeah, I get it, I get it. It is what it is. Take these things with me. Okay, so we got sleeping, campfire for warmth, in case we run into a snowstorm. We got uh, s s walls and stuff. Uh, we got some wood. Already situated with food and things. I think some vegetables and fruits in here. I don't need a door. Nah, we don't need a door. I'm not making. I probably won't make it a permanent shelter. I'll just throw like, throw it down temporarily and then pick it up when I'm leaving again. It's like a it's like a tent, but it's made out of stone. Really, I could use some more arrows, I guess. They're made in here now, right? Spear, flint arrows. I need sticks for that. There we go. I guess made back up to 93 arrows, so that's fine. Leather curtain's great for a traveling hut. But for a doorway, you mean? I just normally just put the walls down, because you can pick the wall up and put it back down again without any issue. Like, who needs a door when you can just move the entire wall? Do you use bandages on the horse? That I don't know. Uh, bandages don't normally heal you anyway. They don't, don't they just like they they stop bleeding? Heals bleeding, bleeding and wounds. So it's not gonna recover any hit points that way. Uh, the sledgehammer I'm not gonna need right away. I don't think. I feel like I'd made the sledgehammer, but I guess I didn't. Where's that thing? Steel hammer. Iron hammer. What the heck do you make the sledgehammer? Tech tree! I assume it's tier 2. Iron sledgehammer. I do have it unlocked. Is that not made in here? Oh, there it is here, right here. I need rope for that for some reason. So I'm not going to take it with me right away, but the next time we go to the swamp, I'll use it. I've got all these bows, long bows. These can get destroyed. Okay. It was right next to the other hammers. Yeah, I got it. I, I figured it out. It's like going, I need a workbench for every little thing. Yeah. Well, I mean, you can craft some stuff on you. Like, if you go into your crafting tree, there's all... Um, get rid of all this. Like, all these things you can craft without the workbench. So there is some stuff you can make, obviously. Will Fox fix his boat? No. Fox is never going to do something like that. Why would he? Can't repair that thing. Go get more silicone. 
Oh yeah, I gotta get, um... Well, I wanna work on that other mission, but, uh... I guess we'll... Make a little silicone detour. Be something like right across the way here. Take that, Moa. salt down here. Maybe in the upper level or some? Pro Fox probably remember remembered to fix gear when he's miles away from his home. That's probably what would happen, yeah. That's about how my brain works. this to be at least there we go it's something it's not perfect but it's something oh I broke my torch too I gotta get another torch and Bob the 22 month member message mistakes oh there's always plenty of those to be had it's like the entertainment value for me screwing everything up I think I killed that thing for nothing. I don't think there's even any silica over here. That was a little bit. Now I'm gonna get my hands on aluminum. Um, so we're gonna need to find a cave that has a good stock of that. I, I, we cleared out the one that was under the water, right? I know I was in there for a while getting stuff, but I, I can't recall whether I cleared the whole thing out or not. I left copper in there. I don't think I left much of anything else. Little stone bridge, but two gates on either end. Yeah, I, uh, I, yeah, I should build a bridge. I keep saying I'm going to, and I just haven't done it. If right now the little, the little ramp will work there, but it, Watch for your sneak attack, you evil monster. Take my arrow back, thank you very much. Oh, there's a whole bunch of them up here. become a channel member so down at the bottom of the chat there should be a symbol that has a dollar sign I think you can click that oh that's for super chats uh, so on the stream page like next to the subscribe button I think is where the join button is yeah commander can patch you out of there Uh, memberships on YouTube are like a, a paid subscription kind of thing, sort of like uh, subscribers are on Twitch. As Bob Ross would say, there's no such thing as mistakes, just happy little accidents. Apparently Bob never met Cryptic Fox. Nope, he didn't. He didn't get to bask in my wonderfulness of mistakey goodness. Otherwise, his little statement probably would have had an exception. Pretty decent amount of silica up here, actually.
kind of wouldn't mind building my house up, like another house up out of the darkness. <laughs> I, what I have down there I rather like, but uh, I don't like that it's sitting in the shade of that mountain all the time. It'd be nice to have a little bit more daylight. I feel like it was a it was a poor choice of placement for that thing. Should have built it on the peak of the mountain. Like even up here on the ridge would have been good. The only difference is that like I couldn't go down to the water and get stuff. What I, what I was thinking by having it down by the water was that I could put a water wheel down for power. Oh wait, if I put a if I put a ramp up right there, I can have a shortcut over to that area where I built. Or the tunnel for the ice cave, too. Steve with the super sticker. Wait for it. Thanks, Steve. Appreciate the super sticker. Yeah, the water wheel. Now, they also have a uh, like a wind turbine you can make in the game now. So, I guess if you weren't down by the water, you could just set up a wind turbine. Use that for power. I don't know. I like being next to the lake just for the scenicness of it or whatever, but just like being too close to this mountain was a mistake. I shouldn't have done that. Too much darkness. Hello, darkness, my old friend. Ed Bob, the one gifted membership. Thanks, Ed. Appreciate that. Thanks for the support. Uh, okay, so look up here. Oh, I got a decent chunk that time. Max. <laughs> Nine more. Woo, go me. That gets me to 23. Uh, I need the carbon fiber. Is that in here? I have to make a carbon paste first, right? Oh, I need aluminum for that. Oh, crap. I kind of forgot about that. And then you just smelt it in these things. Nope, not there. Smelt it in here. Carbon fiber? Yes. Okay, so I need the, uh, the carbon paste. Which is going to require aluminum that I don't have. We're going to have to find another cave, I think. Because I don't have one that has aluminum. Is that mountain throwing shade on you? Darn right it is. It's always getting in the way of the sun, man. Oh, Gene P. Congrats on the gifted membership. <laughs> what ramps do I have on me? None. I used them all up. Okay, we need to make uh, we need to make some more ramps so that I can create a shortcut up to where I want to go. Okay, I need more fiber. Give me the fiber. It's not the fiber. It's Stewie language? <laughs> Stewie. Hey, Brian, uh, thanks for listening. Who the hell do you think you are? Just eat the grass for more fiber? I don't know, that might give me the runs. I'm not really built to digest that kind of fiber, you know? That's right, suck a death wing or whatever you are, I forget what they're called. Dreadwing, that's what it is, the dreadwing. I'm gonna butcher that sucker. Cause I mess around with my non bridge again. Get butchered. This thing's ugly. Deathwing is another game entirely. That, yeah, that'd be World of Warcraft, yeah. <laughs> uh, Alright. Ramps. I don't know how many I need. We'll make, uh, I guess we'll make seven, because that's what I can make. I don't need this pickaxe again for now, so we can put this away, and we'll just make use of this fancy one. I should leave the horse behind. If it's if the thing's injured still, 68%. It's gradually healing. It's not 
Not doing great, but it's gradually heating. Anyway. Ah, Jesus! Thing got revenge for me killing its friend. God, it scared the poop out of me. It's my death wing. Don't you get any ideas? Getting soft on you? <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. So, hey, uh, Brian, you, uh, you got my money, Brian? Uh, where's my money, Brian? Okay. Ditch some stuff in here. Got a whole bunch of seeds there. Stuff at the fridge. Wait, fridge. There we go. I gotta make some of the better foods in the game. I, I, I kind of been slacking a bit on the the cooking side of things. Would your horse heal faster if it were in a barn, like covered? I don't know. Maybe. Might make uh, might make sense for that to to be the case. Oh, then a fourteen wood. There we go. It is not the right time for sleeping. Alright, I'm gonna set up my bridge over here. Or not, my, not my bridge, my ramp. We can get up to that upper level. Need to make a drying rack. Uh, I guess so. I mean, it doesn't... From what I'd seen, the drying rack recipes really weren't that stellar. Because of the food buffs. It seemed like most of the time you were like better off actually cooking something instead of using the, the drying rack. Maybe I'm mistaken, I don't know. Dylan, thanks for clicking the join button. Welcome to Derpy Fox. Appreciate the support. I forgot to make a torch. Gives you a different food buff. Yeah, this is true. But I can just get some vegetables and accomplish basically the same thing. What I should do is like make a fruit salad or something. Uh, I need sulfur, sticks, and something or other. The sticks and fiber. Crafting. Make two of these. You can feed the horse by putting food in the hot in your hot bar to heal it. Oh, can you? Hold on. Hold the phone. Uh, we'll grab. I'll get like some carrots or something here. How do I heal it? Do I just hit? Nope. It's at seventy-three health, but like. How do I heal it? Do I just hit nine? Right click is no good. I just end up consuming. Oh, feed him out. There we go. It's really not working. <laughs> Oh, okay, there it goes. It's 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 healing now. That's weird. I have a weird interaction, but whatever. There we go, my friend. Carrots. Let's go for a ride. Oh boy! <laughs> almost went right off the end. Mistakes were almost made, but not quite. 
Okay, where did I put that ramp? Was it like right up here? Stamina depleted. Don't really remember where I made the ramp. Oh wait, there it is. I can see it peeking up. That's much faster than riding all the way around. Oh, janky. Oh boy. That's janky. Oh god, no! Okay, I've got a problem. Come on, horse! I think I need to fix that. That's a little messed up. Beg off, Jaguar, whatever you are. Clunk, clunk, clunk. Okay, let's get this out of my inventory bar there. That might help a little bit with the cold situation, maybe? I still look like I'm freezing. What the heck, man? Why is it so negative? It's not storming right now, is it? Oh, it's, it's climbing back up finally. Jeez. Take forever. Oh, that's a bear. That's a bear. Cheese it. Oh, back in the cave. Back in the cave. Get up! Oh god! Oh, I forgot how tough the polar bears were, man! Ah! <laughs> ah I forgot the polar bears were brutal. <laughs> Oops. I done died. Oh, now it's eating my horse. That's great. That's wonderful. It's fabulous. Killed by a level 43 polar bear. Stupid horse killing polar bear bunch of so and so. No, oh, campfire's not going. Well, that's fun. All my stuff is gone. And I've still got a bleed effect. Oh, that's my favorite. I have a deep wound. Rot, no good polar bears. Now I'm naked. Oh, I am naked. Oh, my, oh, I'm naked. I don't have any. I don't have anything. Oh crap. Oh crap. Oh crap. <laughs> I, I don't have oxygen or anything. Uh, I, get, I mean, I can grab some oxide out of here. So that'll keep me oxygenated for a little bit. Uh, I need. Um, I need to make a suture or whatever. Basic bandage. Suture kit. Other bone and fiber. Fiber. Where's the bones at? I completely forgot how tough the polar bears were. So wait, you lose everything when you die? You, uh, can you, yeah, you can recover. You gotta go back to your body to get it, though. Just I'm assuming. There we go. That's a problem, though. Okay, I need to make a, a replacement torch at least. 
Um, wait, it's fiber, sticks, and sulfur? Not enough fiber. Did I make it daytime yet? There we go. Okay. Is that weather incoming now, too? I have no weapons or anything on me. Um, okay, I have... Somewhere here I have... Bows and such. I'll leave those things. There we go. I'll take a longbow for now with the uh, bow and arrows, so at least I have something. But now I have no armor. <laughs> oh, nothing. We ain't got nothing. I hope I can get my stuff back. I sort of feel like it would have been faster to go up here without the horse. I could run pretty quick. My stamina recovers quicker, too. Oh, maybe, oh, it's the buff, maybe, because I died. This is letting me run, run more. Where did that ramp go? Oh, there it is. As long as you don't die in a bounce, you normally get your gear back. Yeah. Let's see what happens. I don't have any cold protection or anything now, even. My poor horse, man. I can't even get the saddle back off it. The saddle's just gone. Okay. I can go in favor of this. Um, all these. Sleeping bag. Where's my canteen? Oh, there it is. Cave Rimbo is the one I want to have equipped. What did I have normally in my number four spot? Oh, oh all this stuff's just moved. Okay, it's fine. Alright. That could have gone better. Ooh, those are tough too. I need to get the uh, the taxidermy knife so I can make uh, some wolf rugs or something. I'm surprised the bear is just gone. Shaggy zebra. Oh, that was that is a zebra. That's one messed up looking zebra, man. Yeah, the bear ran off with all my arrows, but better that than it still being here.
thought I might have been seen a cave over here, but it's just a weird little indent. I'm not sure what I'm looking for. I think you have to harvest a horse to get your saddle back. Oh, okay. Well, it's currently refrigerated over there. Hopefully it's being preserved. Oh. That's weird. Bring up ramps. Um, okay, hold on. What is that? It's dead is what it is. Suck it, snow leopard. Alright, I need, uh... Let's make some wood floors. Some more of these. We got the other instead on the part with the time machine. Oh, what's this now? Come on. There we go. Not the most stable thing, but it'll work. Run, buddy, run! What's down here? Is it just silica? <laughs> He's tried real hard to get away. Maybe I should kill him just to like get it on my log. Stabbing you. <laughs> Terrible throw. Dang it. Come back. I got a bone javelin for you. I was going to run right off the cliff. All right. Way to go, buddy. Took 700. Oh, there's a cave down there. Took 746 damage falling down there. What'd you learn, little guy? I want to see what the feels of that cave. If at all possible. This looks like a wall we can break open. Oh, I'm getting ice. Nice. Not here for a completely different mission, but as long as we're seeing this stuff, we might as well check it out. Dead leopard. <laughs> Way more tragic than the deaf leopard. <clears throat> I 
wonder if you pick, uh, break ice with the obsidian axe if you get water. Uh, it seems to just be saying ice. Because I'm using the obsidian axe right now. Ooh, what the? I found shrooms, baby! The water source here. Uh, well, we're already here where the gold is, so I might as well take it with me, because otherwise, like, hunting for it's going to be a pain in the butt. Take the mushrooms with me, too. Sure, there's probably a recipe we can make with the mushrooms eventually. Iron, I'm not super worried about because that's pretty abundant. No worms in the ice caves, huh? Cool. And not only because it's icy. Yeah, I took the canteen off, so we're all right. If you look at the bottom left-hand corner there, it's got the temperature bar, which is uh, hot on one end and cold on the other. As long as we're in the gray band in between, then we're fine. Um, but the canteen off of unequipped, it, um, it's fine. It's just when it's... Uh, oh, man. I'm sure he's getting full. Um, it's just when I, uh, when I have it equipped, it uh, has a temperature debuff. By the way, there are resource packets available in the station gear now. They're expensive, but they make tier 4 builds much easier, especially since you can request delivery while on the planet. Yeah, there's a few things I really need to get sorted out still here. I need... Oh. Okay. I wasn't expecting this. That led me right outside. So where's all the stuff in this here cave? I only found one little area that had uh, actual ore and things in it. Imagine there's a lower section here that might... Ow. This might have it. Where's my inventory? <gasps> oh my god, no! Just realized uh, when I picked those things up, I didn't actually pick them up because my inventory is full. Good thing I had the stuff to left to make some more supplies to climb out of here. I would have had a real problem. Where's the, uh... There they are. Take those back. I didn't realize I didn't pick them up. What was the unstuck button? Yeah, I would have had to use it, but I just would prefer not to. Obviously. Okay. Cave worms confirmed. I'll get my arrow back. There's wood down there. Platinum. Kind of what I'd really like to find is some aluminum, though. 
Or platinum. There's gold down there. I don't think there's any aluminum in these caves. Oh! Spoke too soon. Okay, I gotta get rid of some of this ice. Got way too much ice. What? I passed some aluminum? Okay, I'll go back and look. Oh yeah, right here. Otherwise it's uh, platinum and stuff. Platinum and gold and what have you. <laughs> Level 60 again! <laughs> The number of times we leveled up to 60 is incredible. More ice has got to go. All right, let's get out of here. This isn't why I came out to the snowy area in the first place. Just figured as long as we saw the cave, we might as well check it out. Nope, oh, crap. What day is it right now? Where you see the time of day. I think I'm going to need to make another bridge to get across. Oh my god, I can't even see. Suck it, Snow Leopard! Oh, what the heck is that? Is that my objective right there with that... Icy business is shooting up? Um... What have I got? I'm gonna need more wood and stuff. I gotta make, a. Uh... Uh, I gotta make another bridge across. Guys, are, oh, what the heck? Something hurt me. What was that? Huh. Okay, I need uh, I need to make a bridge across here, so that's gonna require some space. I don't need this oxide on me now. Uh, like that. Span the gap. I hope that's supported. Oh, that's cracking. Um, there, now it's supported. Okay. Let bird go.
Oh, jeez. Oh, do I, have to, do I have to carry something back? Oh, okay, yeah, there's a uh, an exotics geyser right there. We need to get some exotics. I haven't gotten exotics in this game in ages. Kind of a slacker. Okay, what have I got to do here? What? Reusable automated launch vehicle for small payloads. Well, where's my quest? What the heck am I supposed to do here? UI glitch? Is that what the problem is? Because I don't have a mission now. What the heck? What are they doing? Get off of my ramp, you jerks. They're like, we've been trapped in here our entire lives. Let us out. What is that? What is that? That's not a wolf. What is that? Did we shoot it or did we not shoot it? Uh, okay. Oh god, what? Snowstalker. That dodges! Ah! What in the god's name? Go, go, go! Get up and run! Oh, get out of the way, animal! Jesus! How many arrows does it take to down this thing? Oh, wolf. crit on it. This thing's in the way now. There we go. Snowstalker. Jesus. Oh, I'm so hurt. Oh, I'm bleeding too. Um. Wow, that sucked. Mess with me, bird. Okay, those are new. I haven't seen those before. Fortunately, it didn't destroy my thing down here. What are the odds I can actually get my... my arrows back out of this thing? There was a lot of arrows stuck in it. 14 arrows. Frozen ore? What the heck? Okay. <laughs> still still trying to go up the ramp. Uh too funny. Okay, um hold on, I'm gonna save and try reloading if possible. And how do I I don't want to quit to my desktop. Or return to character select. They want to escape too? I guess so. They must have been trapped down there. You can see rifles in your future. Yeah, I definitely should have come here with rifles. I gotta get the uh, the benches and stuff all set up for it, though. They were stuck in there with a stalker, can't blame him. Yeah, fair enough. That thing was brutal, man. I 
And that definitely was not my favorite. <clears throat> now found another snow stalker in melee combat. Yeah, right. <laughs> I don't have a spear on me. I just have a javelin right now, I think. There we go. Okay. Uh, I had to come all the way here just to find out what to put in this thing. Oh, and I have to leave and come back. That sucks. Uh, wine, berry jam, fruit salad, crumbed saltwater filet, saltwater filet sashimi. Okay, that... Man, they are awfully specific about what they want. They really did want some fancy food. Um, okay, well, there's nothing I can do right now. Can't collect anything off of this, obviously. We'll have to go back. I got a lot of I got a lot of things to make. Uh, wine. I'm gonna have to find berries for. I guess I haven't seen any berries. I killed it but died for the bear. Well, the bear was uh, right on top of me the whole time. That thing, it, I was able to back away from it, and then it was I was out of range of it. Build a home here? Yeah, no thanks. I guess I would consider it if I could get it up on like... I thought that was charging me for a sec. Uh, if I could get up on the side of the... Um, the cliff face there where there's some of those ledges, it might be worth building something up there. Something out of range of most of the stuff that's likely to try to kill me. Like something right up there would work fine. Oh, that, was, that shot went a little short, didn't it? There we go. That's crazy. I got a lot of uh, I got a lot of work to do. Uh, so we're gonna have to go back to the house and build the kitchen setup because uh, we're gonna need the cook stove and stuff to be able to cook those things that it needs. Uh, I'm also gonna need to try to find things like the berries that I'm gonna need to make the wine. Uh, we're gonna have to catch a bunch of fish to make the crumb, the, uh, crumbed saltwater filet. Saltwater filet sashimi. We got a few things to do there, I guess. Go through the cave I opened up. I could have, but, it, so the cave was like, it would have come out over here anyway, I think. remember where that cave entrance was to go back through the mountain. Well, oh, wait a minute. I'm lost. I think I overshot. There definitely was not a lake that I ran into before. Well, it looks like there might be a cave right there. Too far over. Yeah, polar bear ate my horse. Rotten polar bear. Didn't appreciate it. Growl at me, wolf. Okay, where the heck is this opening? Is it right there? I think that I went up way up here. Oh, 
no. You son of a gun. It's like, what was that? I'm out of your bear, see ya. Not gonna do it. Would be prudent at this juncture. I guess my dead horse is gone. Seems to have despawned now. Didn't recover my saddle, but that's alright. We got the materials to make another one. It's not really a big deal. Gotta tame another horse first, I guess. If a random stranger hypothetically growls at you, do they get arrows to the face? What do you mean hypothetically? That happens all the time. And yes. Yes, they do. Alright, I'm out of here. Oh, you know what? I'm gonna take some corn bag with me. As long as I got room in my inventory. A little bit of room. It's not gonna be good for any of the stuff that I need to make for this quest, but I can make like creamed corn, which would be good for my own consumption. Am I dropping it on the ground now? <laughs> Alright, good enough. Let's get out of here. It's like a really bad storm's coming. Yeah, heavy rain, storm coming. It's got that fancy red... Oh, there's lightning and such. Uh... Where's my ramp? There it is. Oh, this ramp has seen better days. Maybe I should repair this on the way by. Right before the storm wrecks it some more. Rest of it's fine. Time to cheese it! At least I'm not far from home, but... And the stream by getting struck by lightning again? Yeah, just watch. <laughs> I don't think I've seen a storm that has that level of red intensity before. Could be wrong. Looks like it might be a nasty one, though. Oh, shoot. Oh, God, I'm gonna die. Oh, that hurt. Oh, I almost died. I think I broke a leg. I did. I can hardly move now. Come on, get me inside. That's why you're always building caves. Well, I've never really bothered building the caves because of the hypothermia thing or whatever it is. Pneumonia. The cave pneumonia is what it's called. But, um... I've really never wanted to bother with it, you know? So I just... I, I haven't. Uh... Oh, that's, um... If I go here, we can make some of the cream corn. The rest of the corn can go in the fridge for now. Wow, lightning. Mushrooms can go in there. We definitely got some materials I needed, so that's that's a plus. Make some aluminum. Some aluminium. I didn't end up using the stone base structure, but it didn't have a snowstorm while we were out there either, so it was probably better to be prepared than not, but go there. A little more gold in here. I don't know what to do with the frozen ore. A chunk of frozen ore must be heated to identify and use. 
Avoid direct contact with eyes and or skin. <laughs> really? Okay. Wait, where did I get that floor torch from? Oh, look at the fire out there. So much for those trees. Oh, Jesus. I got struck by lightning again. <laughs> I got the achievement. Sometimes it does get struck by lightning again. <laughs> uh, I got... I, I only poked my head out the door for crying out loud. Come on. That's funny. I'm gonna have to, uh... Have to set up a lightning rod, I guess. That's hilarious. Oh my god. Oh, I got no fuel in here. It's funny that lightning doesn't do as much damage to me as you would think it would. Yeah, we got that going. Uh, I can put this bow away. I can put these arrows away. I'm actually glad I saved those arrows now instead of breaking them down the way I was originally thinking I would. Came in very handy. I don't have enough room for sticks in there. I gotta craft more arrows. I went through a lot. There we go, that's what the Super Chat, I guess we can call him Zap Brannigan. Kiff, Kiff. <laughs> Captain Zap Brannigan. Uh, okay. Well, it's a little after midnight. I think uh, we're gonna need to do a little bit of work to try to gather all the materials I need to do this, uh, all these recipes and stuff. I also need to build the kitchen setup, I think. I'm not sure if I can make wine over here. I think there's some other stuff I gotta get built. I can make the saltwater fillets here. Um, I can make uh, hearty salad. The fruit salad should be here somewhere. Mixed berries, stuffed avocados. There's the fruit salad, but I haven't got the wine and stuff in here. We gotta gotta craft some more kitcheny type things so we can get some of those built. Uh, we're also gonna need bottles for the wine, I guess. So I'm gonna need to make the uh, the glass crafting bench for that. Um, so lots of stuff to build to work on this one. We'll uh, probably focus on doing that next time we come back. See if we can knock out that part of the quest. Uh, but thanks everyone for coming to hang out tonight. I really appreciate it. Thank you for the super chats and everything this evening as well. Uh, I've undecided what I'm going to play tomorrow night just yet. Uh, but once I know, I'll uh, post something up at the channel and let you know. And we'll uh, have, some more, have some more fun playing games. Thanks again everyone. I'm as always Cryptic Fox. I'll see all of you next time.